Alright, boys and girls, we going with the potato resolution. Woo! Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Uh, with the power of two SATA adapters. Woo! Hey guys, the Tal Taku here. Welcome back to another shenanigan video. And today, this is gonna be an absolute misadventure about computers and stuff like that, especially when it comes to upgrades. So, today's video, we're gonna be doing an upgrade on both my media PC and the big speaker. And some of you might know, my i5 PC has a 128GB SSD, which is very small by today's standard, and it cannot even fit Genshin in here. 128GB is simply not enough, so I had to buy a new SSD, which is a second hand of course. But however, there are a couple risks when it comes to buying used drives, especially both SSDs and hard drives. But there will be a time when mine fails. So yeah, this package arrived just now, and this thing arrives a couple days ago. And yes, I was in here, I know. Anyway, we'll open this later. Once I upgrade my media PC to an SSD. But first things first, let's go ahead and unbox this thing. I already unwrapped the parcel because it does have my address on here. And many people be like, Well, you should have upgraded the platform! Well, not at this moment because I don't have budget for that. I bought a 250 gigabyte SSD for 90 ringgit and one terabyte hard drive for 100 ringgit, which is about 200 ringgit in total. <laughs> More bubble wrap, really? Yup, here it is. We have a one terabyte WD Blue Drive. It's a 5400 RPM and it's manufactured in 2014. Ooh. Anyway, I'm gonna put that gently in. Let's go ahead and unwrap this SSD here and oh god, it looks in pretty bad shape. Oh what? god. Man, come on. <laughs> this is the Crucial MX100 SSD. It looks in pretty bad shape, but as expected for a used drive, but I thought it's a bottom side, but actually the screws is on the right here. I'm not even I don't even know why it's right there where the Crucial's branding thing about Bob here is at. My plane's blocker! Oh well, it is what it is. First things first, we're gonna install a Crucial SSD onto the big speaker right about now. <laughs> okay, that plan kind of flopped because I was trying to install Macron Reflat on the big speaker and I was trying to download it and it asked me for an email address before downloading. And then I was like, hell nah! Anyway, for such a free software, it's really stupid to ask for that. I have to hold off the plan for the time being, but in the meantime, I just had to do it on my laptop with the power of two SATA adapters. Woo! Okay, so I have two adapters plugged in and both drives seems to be detected, which is a good start. And we're gonna go ahead and run Macrium Reflect. So I'm gonna go ahead and find the Windows 11 drive. So I need to clone this disk, select the disk to clone to, and make sure it is Seagate USB 3.0 cable, which is my crucial drive. Oh. Okay, I think I figured it out. Yeah, make sure it's all 257 gigs. So I'm gonna go ahead and click finish, and click OK. Hope this is gonna work. Make sure it's E new volume. It definitely is new volume. So I'm gonna go ahead and Confirm to proceed. And now the cloning process begins. Ah. What? I'm gonna have. What? What do you mean? My plane's plane! Turns out it was probably from the other partition, I assume. Hopefully, this thing's gonna work out well. So, yeah. Be right back in a good while, I guess. One minute, 37 seconds later. While I'm doing the cloning process, it's time to upgrade the drive to the one terabyte drive. And I'm gonna test this thing out to see if it works. And I already test the drive caddy beforehand and it does seem to work. And I'm pretty confident that it's going to work. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the black screws to mount the drive in place. And yes, speaking of which, it does come with the 
tiniest screwdriver. I mean, why is it so small? Why is it so small? <laughs> why did he include a small screwdriver when everyone else has a screwdriver on hand? Like, why? <laughs> All right, got the screws in. Let's see if it. Let's see if it fits. <gasps> ah, yes, it fits. Nice. Connection is kind of a tight fit. Alright, with some mishaps, the drive actually fits in. And... And all the screws are in. Oh god, the autofocus has <laughs> been derp. But yeah, all the screws are in. And we're gonna install the faceplate. There you go. And now I should be able to pop the drive in. Place. This is gonna be a very hard to fit it in. Oh. Okay, it was a slight interference, so... Well, at least it's all plugged in. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and boot up the home theater PC and transfer all the anime files and stuff in here onto the 1TB drive and the media PC should be ready to go. Okay, got it hooked up to the TV and I'm gonna go ahead and turn on smoke test. Okay, I forgot to turn on the TV. I'm gonna see if it detects the one terabyte drive. Once it detects, I'm gonna go ahead and check HD Sentinel. And for some reason, the keyboard controller thing about Bob here just blink orange, but somehow it just goes away. Sometimes it happens, man. All right, let me go ahead and log me in. God, this thing is slow with the hard drive. What the hell? Ah yes, the drive is 100% in health. So I got recommended this program by Apple Cole. Thank you for that. And it's very, very useful. Much more useful than Crystal Disk. Sometimes the one terabyte second hand drive seems to be in good condition. Now it should be ready to shove the enemy onto the drive. So let's go ahead and move all the enemy stuff out of the 500 gig drive and then slap it onto the one terabyte drive. So let's go ahead and do that. My goodness, this thing is gonna take forever. About an hour, 30 minutes? You gotta be kidding me. Alright, we're halfway done and I really hope this is gonna work out well. A few inches later. It's done at about 32 minutes, 33 seconds. It's time to unplug the Crucial drive from my laptop and test out on the big speaker. Alrighty, Crucial SSD has been installed and there's the 120 gig SSD that I was originally in the big speaker. Okay, I swear to god, please work. Anyway, I'm gonna turn on the power and then I'm gonna turn on the monitor and let's go ahead and turn it on let's hope windows does a blue screen or something oh it booted which is a good sign <gasps> no way no way it actually booted Yes! Finally, it actually works! <laughs> the big speaker now has a 250GB SSD. Check it out, 237 gigs. Go on to properties. Alright, 237 gigs. Hardware. Yup. Oh, come on, this gonna go away! Yup, crucial SSD has been detected. Sweet! So now, I'm gonna go ahead and Format this SSD and put it on to Yep, the media PC. I'll do that once I finish moving all the anime and stuff onto the one terabyte drive, so yeah. Yep, Houston, we got a problem. So it turns out copying anime stuff onto the one terabyte hard drive is a terrible idea and Yup, it threw me an error when I tried to move my files from the 500 gig drive to a 1 terabyte drive and now it shut down. After like 2 minutes, after I finished upgrading the big speaker to a 250 gig SSD, 256 I should say, I don't even know, I just, I just had to hit try again and then it just completely bogged the system down. Yeah, I was like, what? That is very very strange how that happened, but I tried to cancel it and nothing seems to work and it's just stuck there and i and then i had to shut shut it down and and take the drive out and do it externally that way with the power of a dongle and i'm sorry my sister i had to took the same dongle from before <laughs> 
Let me go ahead and move the enemy stuff from 500 gig drive to one terabyte one externally this time. Oh crap. It bogged the system down again. And yep, the task manager opens this time. It's been about a minute since I touched that task manager icon. Like, oh my god. Yep, this is one of the reasons why hard drive should not be used as a boot drive. Okay, so my brain has been detonated for some reason. <laughs> so yeah, I was trying to move most of the big stuff from that drive to that drive. It just bogged the system down and it just stopped copying stuff in here. So... Well, I guess I have to boot to my old big speaker SSD. So... Yeah, let's see if it boots. And we got a Windows 11 logo, which is already a good sign. To say at least, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna work, but... Apparently it does, I guess. Alright boys and girls, we going with the potato resolution, Woo! Oh yeah, the, although the resolution looks potato, it looks very big like the 640 by 480 is because it's a 125% scaling on by default. Huh. Ah ha ha, here we go again. 2,000 years later. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. One single file causes this to be interrupted. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so almost done transferring most of my media from that system drive to the one terabyte drive. I decided to recap what's inside of the big speaker. Same power supply, same CPU, same GPU, same USB card, same hard drive, same everything except with the SSD itself. I added the cheap ass bracket that can hold a three and a half inch drive and also a two and a half inch drive. This is basically like a do-it-all plastic bracket and that thing actually replaces the bracket that came with the Kingston V300 SSD. So yeah, jamming this bracket is not an easy task. <laughs> I had to I had to flip the bracket upside down to make sure it mounted exact, exactly the same as where I used to mount the SSD with that bracket. And yeah, I managed to make it fit. Except that it just straight up pushed the power supply cable, which sounds pretty dangerous, but hey, it's plastic. And I have to redo some cable management, as you can see here. A little bit of redoing cable management thing about Bulber, it's the same cable management as before. But it's a cable management nightmare. But it's all black cable so. But yeah, that's the inside of the big speaker. Same internals except with the SSD and the bracket itself. So it's time to put the big speaker back together, put it back to the original spot, and settle this media PC once and for all. So yeah. My gosh, the cable management is still horrible. Uh, but you know what? I'm not gonna show my cable management again after this. One operation later. I tried again and okay, I spoke too soon. Okay, the file transfer to the one terabyte drive is done. Now, it's time to clone from that HGSD drive to a 120GB SSD. And yeah, I picked the Seagate USB 3.0 cable as a destination to that SSD, so... Files will be overwritten. F, Windows 11. Yep. Confirm. And the process should start. One eternity later. Okay, I was sleepy, but the clone is done. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and... Eject both of these drives and... The SSD should be ready to go. Alright, I have an SSD installed on my home theater PC and a 1TB drive back into the enclosure. It's time to do a smoke test. 3, 2, 1, smoke test! Okay, we're seeing a good sign of life here. Oh, it's much faster than before. It's much faster than before. Oh, there we go. We're in. And it should load up Windows Media Center much faster than before. Oh, it's it's unactivated. Okay, I'll deal with that later. Oh, now it's at 99% health. Makes sense, but it's still it's still a good condition drive, so that counts. Yeah, Windows is not activated. 
Well, be right back. One extremely annoying shift later. All right, everything has been taken care of, and I have to say, the SSD upgrade is a success. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in onto the TV screen here, and let's check the drive properties. All right, there we have it. Kingston SSD and WD drive has been detected. So that is a very, very good sign. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and nuke the HDSD drive that I have here and probably one day I'm gonna go ahead and put Linux install on it. But otherwise, I think that's a wrap up for the upgrade adventure. So this is the first thing I do after I install Genshin Impact. Goodbye. Day three. Alrighty, the big speaker is all ready to go, and yeah, it's now back to the original spot, and it's looking pretty good. But with the upgrades and stuff here, it's already looking like a much better value computer rather than overkill gaming PC or something like that with a highest end crap or something like that. But my laptop actually does everything that I do here, but I'm gonna keep using my Legion 5 as my main laptop. I'm gonna use this in case something goes wrong with my laptop. But yeah, it's a secondary rig for whatever reason. <laughs> with the big speaker all soldered with the new 256GB SSD, I can s safely say that the big speaker upgrade is all done. The components will not be changed for a good while until perhaps a new platform. The big speaker rebuild is gonna come soon but time will tell. While I was editing this video, which is what you're watching right now, I decided to use D-Band to nuke my HGST 500GB drive on my media PC. And I already took out two of these drives because I don't want to nuke one of them. But D-Band does not support SSDs just yet so lucky me so yeah i think oh wait the t-band interface is kind of weird for some reason but yeah i think that's gonna be a wrap up for the ssd misadventures or something i didn't even know what to title anyway thank you all for watching be sure to like share subscribe and hit the bell icon for future uploads like this and speaking of nuke majority of my viewers are not yet subscribed so please subscribe and i'll keep uploading videos and motion at against like this and yeah, joking aside, make sure to support me on both Kofi and Patreon at the links down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Maybe in the next couple of weeks. Or two. Hitao Taku signing out. Peace.